My husband's 38 m increasing franticness about having kids is making me 33 f not want them at all. Married 3 years, 33 f and 38 m. When we first got together, we were both pretty neutral on the topic of kids, with me leaning more no and him finding the idea intriguing but not necessary for happiness. We both have fertility issues, so it seemed unlikely to happen anyway unless we made a major effort and got medical treatments. One year into our marriage, I had a pregnancy scare that turned out to be a late period due to stress rather than an actual pregnancy. During the time I thought I might be pregnant though, something flipped in my husband and he got super excited and thought it would be great to start a family. When my period came, we agreed to not try, but not prevent my perspective being that if a baby manages to claw its way here through our fertility issues, then it must be fate or something. But the idea of actively trying and pursuing fertility treatments sounded terrible to me, and I've just never had a desire for parenthood or pregnancy or anything related to kids in general. Over the course of the past year, my husband has become more and more obsessed with the idea of having kids, and eventually realized he would feel completely unfulfilled and depressed for the rest of his life if it doesn't happen. My feelings haven't changed one bit, but it became clear that we either try to have a kid whether by or through adoption or we part ways. After much talking, I conceded that it sounded better to be an old person who has a family than an old person who's child-free, and chose to stay with him and give it an old college try with some boundaries up front that he agreed to. Those being I don't want to do IVF or anything where I have to take medication or hormones, I need him to promise to start cleaning if we have a kid he currently does literally no cleaning. And I need our life with a child to also allow me to continue my career, which is my personal source of joy and happiness and fulfillment. We agreed to give me the rest of this year 2023 to continue building my career and getting some certificates before starting things like intrauterine insemination and going to adoption agencies. This was very important to me, since I've only recently gotten to a point in life where certain career things are possible better finances allowing for entrepreneurship. With each day that goes by, my husband is freaking out more and more that we aren't already trying to conceive. He wants to make sure we have a kid in some form before he turns 40. Either incubating in me or coming home from an adoption agency. He says the timeline we have starting as the new year turns is the very upper edge of what he's comfortable with, and that he's making a huge sacrifice by giving me the rest of this year before we start pursuing conception. Having a kid is all he can think about and he feels completely preoccupied by it, with the feeling getting worse each day. A few nights ago, he said that as soon as the new year comes, he wants 100% of our time to go into trying to conceive, researching kid things, researching adoption agencies, going to adoption counselors, etc. and that he doesn't want to do anything fun whatsoever until I'm either pregnant or we've adopted, because we don't deserve fun until we have this figured out. We had a few events sprinkled throughout the year we were planning on going to that I consider really good for our relationship due to the connection bonding time and he unilaterally cancelled all of them because he wants to focus on conception. I told him the picture he's painting sounds so awful and stressful that it will probably make it harder to get pregnant, if anything. He said there's no other choice and this is just the way it's going to be until we have a kid. Nearly all of our fights are over this one topic now, and it's exhausting. He views me as selfish for not wanting to get started right away, is upset that I'm not on the same page as him yet, and has recently even started saying things like, the goals I have career-wise are meaningless and nothing matters in life except having a child and raising it into a good human. My work is my way of giving back to humanity, and brings me so much fulfillment, to have it be called meaningless by my partner was so hurtful. Before he started escalating the pressure for all this, I was starting to warm up to the idea in a much bigger way and was even starting to feel some excitement. Now that he's being so pushy with it and making decisions without involving me in the dialogue like cancelling our plans for next year I just feel nauseated by the whole thing. Neither of us want to get divorced even if we did. He doesn't have enough time to find someone else and reproduce with them in the timeline he's demanding. I brought up couples therapy and he's open to it, but from the angle of trying to get me to change my mind so that we can start sooner, rather than him trying to manage his anxiety around his 40th birthday deadline. How do we find a way for him to calm down enough for me to rekindle my own excitement and turn this into a joyful journey instead of a stressful, fight-filled one? TLDR my 33F husband 38M has baby fever and is putting tons of pressure on us having a kid before he turns 40, which is complicated by the fact that we both have fertility issues. He wants to forego anything fun and basically abandon the things we do as a couple until we have a kid. I'm getting incredibly stressed by the pressure he's putting on, and it's turning me off to even wanting a kid at all. How do we work through being on such different pages so that we can feel like a team instead of like we're constantly fighting each other? Edit wow this blew up so I definitely haven't been able to answer most of the comments, but I've read every one of them and am extremely grateful for the input, and the time everyone took to give me feedback on the situation. 
It's given me a ton to think about. I'm realizing this has less to do with prospect of having a child, and more to do with other issues in the relationship that haven't been addressed, and that leave me feeling less than secure on a daily basis. I feel like we really need to focus becoming stronger and on the same page as a couple. Without that level of security in place, I can't even picture having a child. That is a huge block in this whole process which seems obvious now. Many people accurately pointed to the reality that I really just don't have a desire for a child, and I'm trying to rewire my feelings in a way that allows my husband and I to still have a future together. I feel a sense of obligation to my husband for things he's done to help me throughout our relationship especially financially and as a result, feel like if one of us needs to give up something, it should be me at this point. But that probably isn't true. Especially when the thing being affected is another life. I think it's possible I'll want a child in the future, but the state of my life right now just doesn't feel like it has space for it, so the pressure coming from my husband translates to a sense of dread around the whole thing. His deadline feels like a death sentence I'm slowly marching towards. Nothing about the future feels exciting or joyful, just depressing and stressful. I'm realizing we need to back way up and focus on our relationship before we can even discuss a child. Which won't be what my husband wants to hear, for sure, and he might not be willing to do because he thinks things are as good as they need to be between us and me dragging my feet on a child is out of stubbornness or trying to control him. So I have to brace for the possibility that we just aren't looking for the same level of stability in a relationship. Next step will be going to couples therapy. I'm a little scared because it might reveal that we really just aren't compatible in the long term, but obviously how things are going right now is just bringing enormous stress I get anxiety almost daily around the whole thing. And my relationship is now the biggest source of stress in my life so something has to change, one way or another. I'll post an update after we go to therapy or whatever next thing happens. Thank you all again, I assure you, that's not going to happen.